Hello everybody! Welcome back to Paper Mario. I'm Colorful Artie and we're going to track down a white bob bomb today. It'll be fun. Sorry, I had to do it at least once. Praise be to God on this amazing day. In all seriousness, we are going to track down General White today so we can shoot a cannon. We're also going to be doing a few things on the side, but it shouldn't take too long. So the first thing I want to do is go to Petal Meadows, because if you remember, I'm sorry, not Petal Meadows, Petalburg, because if you remember, there was actually a white bob on there when we went there, in chat all the way back in Chapter 1. That was General White. So he should be back here. Yo-ho! Anybody home? Oh, is that so? Hooktail is toast, huh? I guess that's a good thing. Although, well, I've heard that Hooktail had lots of dragon friends. Yeah. And I've heard they're all much, much meaner and more powerful than Hooktail. So what do you think? You shaking now or what? Ha! Psych! Served! Okay, that's not General White's house. Does anybody know? Hey, do you happen to know? Koopy tries to play it off, but he's actually worried sick over what'll happen to Koops. He should know, though. Don't judge a person. No, don't judge a Koopa by its shell. Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, dude. So tell me, Mario, how's my boy Koops doing? If he's not pulling his weight, you just let me know. I'll take his place in your group like that! Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Um, does anybody know where General White went? Oh, Rifidusin Murphy! Eh, what's that you say? General White? Hmm? General... Hmm... Well, I'm certain I've seen him around, but not lately, no. I think he may have possibly said he might head south to a more tropical locale. Creaky Key? Was that it? Yep, that's it. That might possibly, perhaps, could be it. We all know SMFO. It's Keel Hall Key. Hey, Papatch. General White? Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick. Said he was going to an arena or something. Oh, f not Glitzville again. Yeah. I like Glitzville, but I don't like going there. It takes forever. Well, I guess we'll just cut ahead until I get there, I guess. Hey, yo, dude. Oh, sweetie has an Ultra Shroom. Alright, Dazzle. Okay, I was afraid of this. So basically, there are three star pieces in the levels. Or, like, in, like, the world after Far Outpost. So, I should have eight star pieces at this point. Because I don't, that means that there are two star pieces out there somewhere that I haven't gotten yet. So that's where we're going to use her. Aha! Welcome, Mario. I am lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing me with, seen with my amazing abilities, that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I s wish to see. Aha! So, shall I see something for you? Yes. I want you to see a star piece. Star pieces? Ah, I understand. I shall look for what you seek. Hocus Pocus Focus! Cabra da Abra! Hullabaloo! Paka Poku Paka Pikaboo! Ah, ah! Stars, show me what I seek! Hopefully, she's not going to give away the ones that we haven't gotten access to yet. I see a star piece in the city in the clouds behind the phone box. Wait. For real? I missed another one in Glitzville? Jeez, how many star pieces are there in there? <laughs> that is ridiculous. And this is why I asked her before going, because I'm like, well, just in case there was one there. 
Just in case I was missing one, and just in case it happened to be in Glitzville, I can know now. Also, because we have all the Shine Sprites, we can upgrade our final partner. Flurry. Last three Shine Sprites. Shazubi! Shazubi! I still haven't used Flurry's default attack. This is amazing. The nice thing about maxing her out is now she becomes basically a damage sponge. Because she now has 35 HP and she gets the ability Dodgy Fog, which basically just makes Mario dodgy. It is not good. Okay, so I'm missing... I'm trying to figure out where the other star piece I missed is. Because... At least starting with Twilight Town, I used a guide to make sure I didn't miss any. Hey, 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 yo. Lame. Alright, Zess. Maple syrup. Ultra shroom. I think this means I have one recipe left. It's the Maple Ultra! Dessert made by ZST replenishes 50 HP and 10 FP. I'm pretty sure I just have one recipe left. Two, that's right. Oh, I need another Ultra Shroom. Yeah, because that's the Ultra Shroom plus Cake Mix, and then that's the, the Jam and Jelly plus Cake Mix. Okay, that's cool. Two Glitzville. Here we are in Glitzville. How did I miss that one? Anyhow. To the juice bar. Hey, dude. General White? Oh, you must mean that White bob -omb, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. Yeah, this is just padding, that's what this is. May I ask, has anybody actually reached level 99 in this game? If so, I feel very sad for you. Because that does not seem worth it to me. Maybe getting your BP maxed out might be worth it, but by the time you're level 99, you're gonna have 99 BP. You're gonna have well over 150 of HP and FP. Like, who needs that much? I really hope the last star piece is not in Glitzville or Flurry's house. Star piece, please. I see a star piece. It is in Rogueport Square. You go through the alley under the catwalk. You then go to the left and enter the house. It is in the shadow of the map that- Wait! I didn't get that one?! No, I did not want to do that! You swindler! I just paid her 42 coins! For accidentally pushing the A button. She doesn't even give you a chance to back out. I see at the Town of Wealth, you show a gold person near the train the good faith, then you hunt your quarry in the relaxed town, then the formerly deserted isle, then in the shop, then in the little one in the trees, and in the twilight village, I see you going a lot of places, frankly. I am mashing the B button! You swindler! I should have more coins than that. I cannot believe... I cannot believe that the last star piece was literally... THE FIRST STAR PIECE I could have gotten. I am not joking when I say that the one star piece I'm missing, that was THE single first star piece I could have gotten in the game. What are the odds of that? Oh wait, no, it's this one it's for the boggly tree. Weir, weir, weir. Well, it wasn't in Flurry's house or Glitzville, so that's nice.
Hey, puny elder. Oh, that little puny oh, he's always, always so darn squishy washy. More nagging by the old hag. When will it ever stop? Oh, uh, did you happen to see? Welcome to the Great Tree. Eh, General White? Yeah, he's an old bomb -om with the group's great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. I mean, this place is dark. But he means Twilight Town. I still can't believe the last star piece is back here. It's in this house. I haven't looked in this house. It's right freaking there. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white bomb, right? He was here until recently. What? Where did he go? What am I, his secretary? He looked tired, I know that. He went back to Far Outpost to finally sleep. Oh, good grief. The backtracking ends. Also, as fun as it was, I'm gonna go back to my regular old Mario outfit. Maybe we'll become Waluigi again in the future. Like, maybe for the final episode when we take on the Pit of a Hundred Trials. All of it. Maybe that's when I'll go back. Alright. <laughs> I had to hop off the Yoshi because my phone was vibrating. Please pardon me. Rockhawk, you! So this is so-called Great Gonzalez? Ugh, well it's me, your worst nightmare. The new and improved Rockhawk. Don't think I forgot, you punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen would blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the top and ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Rock! And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruises of your hammer of shame left on this spot. And I feel the rage again. If you ever show your face in the rain again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the rock. Number one, rock hawk. <laughs> well, that was a delayed email. Maybe I should have gotten that when I was in Twilight Town, not when I was in World 7. Oh, well. Yeah. Yep, here he is. Let's get out, Gumbella. This is part of Far Outpost. Oh. He seems to be asleep. Wake him up. Yep. He's still asleep. Try again. Yep. He's still sound asleep. Try again. He's definitely still asleep. He's still sawing logs. He couldn't be more asleep. He's counting sheep. He woke. Nah, still asleep. Sleeping like a stashed baby. Wow. He's not even budging. He's still snoring away. Jeez! <laughs> Now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. What? That mustache, that hat, and that hammer, even. Hut, hut, I have been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the rogue port fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. Hut, you need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! That fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving, hut hut. What if I wasn't wearing a red hat? What if I was wearing a purple hat? <laughs> no wonder he had such time. He's like, well, he has an M on his hat, but that's purple. That couldn't be him. So cannon is back online? Well, I could just explode with delight. Now, let us shoot you guys to moon. Oh. We told him we did it, Mario! Now you follow me. You come this way. Yeah, we're not using this wimpy old cannon. I'm missing a little FP, but that's fine. Now you stand here.
This part's pretty sweet. General White, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? Hut, leave it to me! Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Ho, oh, hub, hut, boom. Now, part of positions, everybody. Yes, sir. That's a cool building. Bring guidance system online. Breeding system online. System now online. System check. System check, all clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open outer hatch! What, you didn't think it was some wimpy tiny cannon like the one on the monument, did you? Open inner shutter! Elevate! On my mark! Yeah, this ain't your mama's cannon. Look at the size of that thing. You're gonna need a lot of firepower to get to the moon. Sighting! Target is the moon! Direction, 75.38. Elevation, 34.66. Range, 389,600. Wind speed, 1.08. Correct direction, 3.03. .03. Correct elevation, negative 2.39. Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in. Remember those guys from Bloodsville? Close chamber hatch! It's crowded in here, boom! Stop pushing, Bazoom! Ow, ow, ow! You're on my foot, Baboom! It's tight in here, Bloom! It's, I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck! Conditions all green! Stand by, okay! It is time! Big boom cannon, fire! <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah, 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 yeah! That was so awesome! Good luck, Mario. Eek! Poor Goombella. <laughs> Well, here we are. Wow, that was killer! I totally never would have guessed I'd get to do that! Well, so yeah, here we are! We're totally on the moon! So let's get going, Mario! Let's find the last crystal star and save the princess! Welcome to the moon, everyone. No, I don't have the slow go badge equipped, it's just this slow. Lots of stuff to blow up. Stopwatch temporarily immobilizes all enemies. You can jump super high on the moon, though, which is nice. One star piece somewhere here. I need to look that up. Oh, okay. It's right on route. So this, the moon is massive. Like, there are so many rooms you can go to, and it has, like, a lot of weird items there. So, like, there's the stopwatch there. You can also get ruin powder on the moon. It's also filled with enemies that are kind of annoying to deal with. Oh, 
Oh look, speak of which... I deal one damage. They have five defense. And this is where Quake Hammer is really going to come in handy. As well as Piercing Moro. So we're on the moon, so these are moon clefts. That's a moon cleft! It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Max HP is 6, attack is 5, and defense is 5. Defense is high, as usual, and fire attacks won't work against it. If you can turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to 0. So yeah, Bobbery will help you for these guys. Oh, only two star points apiece. Also, because you're so slow on the moon, it's kind of hard to avoid fighting them. Shroom. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Ouch. Pretty some book ends to kill these guys, though, which is nice. Don't ask me why the explosion only damages them that much when they're flipped upside down. I don't know. Thank you. I also realized that Sid will also be incredibly useful against these guys. I should keep Bobbery out just for these areas, because you can blow up the rocks. Hey, buddy! Hey, ouch! I remember the dungeon entrance being very close by to start, if you went to the right. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. You remember the Yuxes from... Boggly Tree? Well, these guys are worse. I believe these are Z Yuxes or Y Yuxes. I can't remember what they're called. We're about to find out, though. There's the Yuxes, okay. And they work the same way that regular Yuxes did. That's a Z Yux! It's a genetic improvement on the original Yux. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Multiple mini Z Yux will appear to protect the main unit, as you'd expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. It doesn't have much HP, but those barriers often protect it from attacks. Yeah, these guys are really obnoxious. Wait, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. That's okay. We can deal some damage to it. Get it down to low HP. Hmm. 
now let's tattle on the mini Z Yucks, because that's a separate tattle. That's a mini Z Yucks. It lives to protect the Z Yucks. There can e be as many as four. Max HP is two, attack is zero, and defense is zero. If you don't clear these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the Z Yucks. Using a multiple strike attack to take them all out at once is a really good idea. I mean, I respect them for protecting their whatever, but they get no mercy. <laughs> if only those guys gave you star points. Ooh, that's so tough. However will I beat you? I wonder what would happen if you used Piercing Wall on a Yux that's covered with a shield. Or if you used, like, Showstopper. I've actually never tried that. Nor do I really want to. Oh, hey! Bobbery did not blow up the rock. Ouch! It's so easy to get struck first on the moon. Alright, well, Gumbella needs to heal me with something. Shroom cake could be good. Healthy salad, decent. Oh, shroom roast. This is the time for the shroom roast for sure. I gotta use more items. I really do. Showstopper's just so good! The fact that it only takes two things of your star meter to do as well just makes it that much better. And the fact that it pretty much always works if you get five. I mean, if you use it on enemies that are, like, way better than average enemies, like, it will never work on bosses, obviously. Wait, wait I thought, but I thought that was the guy... There was somebody else. Out of here, Exxon. Oh, that was a Koopa Troopa? You suck, man. Maple Shroom. That's a pretty good time for a Maple Shroom. Almost hit Y there, that would have been bad. Oh! It didn't work on either of them that time. Why did you just heal yourself? But I'm getting rid of the clef first. Oh, coops would also be really good against the clefts if there are like four of them. Shell slam could deal a ton of damage. stuff Bobber you can blow up. That's where we want to go. I'll take a power punch. That's the dungeon. So we could keep exploring the moon, and it's just like a giant loop, basically. I don't really see the advantage of doing that. Nope. Oh, yeah. That's the star piece I needed. Hey, buddy! Doggone it! It's impossible to outrun these things. Let's try Showstopper again. Hopefully it'll work this time. Like I said, it doesn't always work. But it works 
way more than it probably should. And I'm incredibly grateful for that. And the tougher the enemies are, the lower the chance that it'll work. But still, four times out of five it worked on these guys, so that's some very good odds. Alright. Oof. There we go. <laughs> no, jump on the pipe and go down it, please. So that's all the good stuff. There are no badges on the moon or anything. It's just weird items. And let's go into the Exnot Fortress. This building is so totally suspicious it hurts! Watch your step, Mario! Well, this is a pretty cool entrance. And this looks familiar, doesn't it? Who's that, dude? Whoa! That's Mario! So let's get him? So you remember fighting x knots in the Boggly Tree. These are tougher versions. These are elite x knots Ouch. Get out of here, Elite x Not. I forgot how much HP these guys had. So much it took three different attacks to get rid of him. That's an Elite x Not. This guy is the cream de la cream of the x Nots. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x Nots are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. And of course, they can use potions to make themselves grow, just like regular x knots They're not too bad. Just don't use Goombella against them. Bobbery's a good choice. Max level Bobbery, of course. Yeah! Mario, old boy, since these x not ruffians are about. Yes, I'm quite sure of it. The Crystal Star must be here as well. Our dear Peach must be here too, wouldn't you say? Let's find her, old boy. <laughs> so this is the seventh dungeon, the x not Fortress. It's a pretty cool dungeon, but we're just going to have to explore it in the next episode. Sorry to give you a cliffhanger like this, but I kind of like doing the dungeons in one video. And it's already getting pretty late. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Carl Hardy. Tune in next time to see that. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, and God bless.